Okay. Or if you know where they're at right off the bat, you can just take them, tell it exactly where you want them. This one's going to go into station nine. This one's going to go into station two. And finally, this one's going to go into station three. Now, utilizing that geometry, let's put a pilot in. So let's show the sketch from that. And that would be considered another notching feature. So let's just fit that. Throw a little construction line in there. So center it right on that carrier. And just use a standard circle. We can also pull from our library features if needed. So we need a dimension on there. So let's put a smart dimension. And let's leave that at about 5 looks good and then all we have to do is tell it where to activate so let's activate that in station one and then we can hide that sketch and our piercing is occurring all the way down at any time you can also ask for a report on the center of force. So let's take a look at that center of force. And what this does is it brings up an icon illustrating where that center of force is. Here you can see it's the blue sphere. You can also pull the properties, which would be more of the non graphical information from file properties, number of stations, pitch, material utilization. These, all these can be utilized in notes or bills of materials, they could be linked to other values. So all that is filled in for you. You can even fill in your title block very easily. Let's make an e-drawing out of this. And an e-drawing will allow us to communicate for approval purposes. Um, it will give us the ability to quickly send this instead of printing it and plotting it out and emailing it or uh, FedExing it, I should say. Uh, we can throw some dimensions on here, give the idea where we're going with this design. And eDrawings is part of SolidWorks Office. You get the professional version which will allow you to do a number of additional things. It's very innovative. It's compact file format that includes the viewer with it. So with that said, let's build an eDrawing. It's as simple as that. It's one selection and this file is a separate window and it can be sent to somebody very quickly by simply hitting the file send and then of course the client double clicks on it and opens it up and they get what you see on the screen now at this point they can rotate it they can hit this animation button which will take it through the different views that already exist you can put different types of settings such as rotate uh, you can click on a specific view Okay, you may want to annotate it and say you know what I don't like how close those are, so too close. And rotate it a little bit more, and turns out that station four may not even be needed. And I'm going to reduce the cost of my project here, so let's take this out. Okay, so not only are you communicating better and quicker, you're also documenting. So, for instance, you can see my login you could take this and you can reply rename and your login would be listed there as the person editing it so you can accept reject and then send it back very quickly with that completed um, we just close that down go back and make our changes so we might want to get rid of some of our e-drawings information for a moment and make those changes and those are fairly simple changes. Let's just go in there and say, you know what? You're right, these two are close. And let's move that. So what I can do is I could say apply to where? Station one. Pick OK and it's up to date. Station four, yep, nothing's going on. We don't need it. It was just put in there for temporary holding. So let's remove that station. And that would be station four at only one. And now everything's up to date. We have eight stations, including our file properties I showed you just a moment ago. You can see that a number of stations 
the pitch and everything is the majority of this stays the same. Okay. There are also a number of visualization tools. We can go in here and we can make the transparency of the strip make it less or more. Obviously by default you're seeing it solid. What this could be very helpful for is that if you would like to superimpose the previous station on the other station. So for instance here when we get more into our bending station let me simplify this a little bit by starting out by hiding the entire strip. So let's hide the strip and let's just show the stations that I want to work with. So for instance stations 5 and 6 and 7 I might want to show those stations. <clears throat> now what you can see is you can see the previous station coming in to the other station. So it's the transparent object is the previous station. You can also show the entire strip again very easily. Turn off that. And you notice I'm not digging through a lot of menus and so on, so I'm pulling this right from the commands on the screen, making it very easy to learn. At this point, let's move on to the next stage, would be punches.